Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I've got this power supply taken off. I just took the cover off. Uh, go over real quick, show what you need for um, converting it to work with an electrolysis tank. First thing, you've got your 3 and your 5, which is the orange and red. You can cut all those out, or if you need to, leave them long and then just tape them up so they're not touching each other or touching anything else. Um, the green you will definitely need because you have to take the uh, ground, one of the ground wires, and connect it to it to make the power supply come on and run. The only things you're going to need really are the 12s and then the grounds. Uh, what I usually do is even up the numbers and then I'll take and uh, tie them together and then put an alligator clip on the end. I usually use about 6 foot of cable so I have plenty of room to go with it. But all these, since I have a pretty open shot here, I'm going to clip all these off right at the motherboard so it doesn't get in the way and I have those things um, totally cut so they can't short against anything. Some of the odd ones like the gray, which are in the blue and the purple, which are like negatives, you don't even need those so you can just cut those off too. Alright guys, this is what you're going to want to end up with with just your blacks. And your yellows, which is the 12 volt in the grounds. You've got one black that's going to the green. That's basically just making the power supply turn on and run. So we'll go to the next step. Alright guys, when I take and get them all stripped, I put them all together with the line that's coming out. And then I put a wire nut on it and then I take and totally um, tape it up. Hi right, guys, so when you're finished, this is what you're wanting to see. Um, you can run these back outside and then run the line. You always want to make sure you keep the little grommet because that metal can be sharp and cut your lines. But since I had such a short cables here, I just folded them back down. So they'll be sticking inside. They won't get in the way because they're not touching anything. And um, so basically, it's just the yellows, the blacks, and then you have the green that's over here that's tied to one of the blacks. And that's it. Uh, as soon as you take and power it up, it'll come right on and it'll start working. And this is all that you have on the uh, power supply side. Now we'll go to the other side and basically it's just putting the clips on it. Alright guys, I have got it done. I took and uh, put the clips on each of the cables. And I hooked it up and put the... Uh, power cord in so basically I'm using the switch on the power supply as an on and off switch you can use a uh, surge protector to do the same thing if your power supply does not have an on and off switch so let's hit the switch see what happens well looks like it works to me I did leave both of the power going to both fans so that'll keep it nice and cool but um Everything looks great. This thing should run like a champ when I hook it up to an e-tank. Alright guys, so this is the uh, finished result. Here is the power supply. Got just the two lines running out. Everything's hooked to the alligator clips. This is a nice little power supply. The 12 volt is showing 25 amp. So, I mean plenty to run your electrolysis tank and uh, being that this was at the scrapyard somebody just threw it away so and it works so we repurposed it and now it has a new life